Hi, this is Chris from Freedom Frequency. Today I'm going to show you um, my favorite upgrade uh, we did to our, our 2019 Globetrotter. It's also the first upgrade we did. Um, <clears throat> now, this upgrade has um, I've gotten some of our friends and family members wet because they're not familiar with a foot pedal as the, as the way to flush a toilet, um, as most of us RVers would be. Um, and they've gone to the bidet handle and as you can see in the picture it will it will shoot you and it, it could definitely shoot someone in the face and I'm not gonna say this hasn't happened to some of our family members um, but you know we moved out of our our large house where I had um, two bidets installed um, in the house and one of the things that like I had to have um, in the new Airstream um, Otherwise, like I was gonna be miserable um, in my mind, was was a bidet. So I took to Amazon, I took to Google and forums, looking for you know some instruction video, someone who had had put a bidet in their Airstream or in their RV, and I didn't find much. I know the plumbing's a little different, you know the seats look a little different, the toilet seats. So I you know I looked to see what other people had done and really didn't find anything. So. What I did was I went to Amazon and I found a toilet seat, a bidet toilet seat, um, similar to what we had in our house. We wanted it to kind of look like a regular toilet seat, basically. Um, so I took to Amazon and I bought this round um, bidet toilet seat. All the links for everything we bought in order to install this are going to be in the description. Um, so when the toilet seat came, I removed the current toilet seat. So this is what a uh, the the toilet in an Airstream looks like. Um, and you see that fin in the box in the back. Well, I didn't realize this until I took the toilet seat off, but um, that is there for a reason. And when you take the toilet seat off, there is a piece that is still there um, that works with the flushing mechanism in um, on the foot pedal. Basically an air vent that helps that system to work. And it's in the way. It's in the way of the, the toilet seat that I just bought and there was really not going to be any way to install it as is without making modifications. Um, obviously I didn't want to mess with the flushing mechanism so I needed to you know figure out some other way. I also noticed when I disconnected the water supply that this half inch fitting here was a little different than um, what came um, with the with the fittings that came with the bidet, so I knew I had to find some kind of T connector that was going to work with that as well. Um, what came to mind was some kind of toilet seat riser that you might see in, in grandma's bathroom, but all of those have handles and they don't look so great. So I took to Amazon again, and link will be in the description. We found this Carex round hinged toilet seat riser. And all the screws and fittings that came with this um, work with the toilet seat that I, the bidet seat that I had bought. And <clears throat> this piece fit perfectly, allowing room for the, the vent from the flushometer. And I was able to quickly install the toilet seat. I next found this um, T fitting um, as you can see, here's the plumbing also um, behind the toilet. Um, that pipe slides around really easily, so it's very easy to disconnect, but I needed to find the right fitting in order to take the, the supply that was coming off the toilet and um, basically jump in between that those two connections that you can see in the picture. So we found this fitting on Amazon, this T, this T connector, and the T connector was able to, to go connect in between where the, the foot pedal flushing mechanism was in the toilet and then send the water out to the bidet. I used um, this tape here as well just to create a really nice uh, seal. We also used your normal like plumber's tape um, but didn't want to have any issues so I added some tape to this. All the links to all the things we bought will also be in the description. Um, here's a, here's the, the tape that we bought. This is just flexible tape that you can put over 
um, plumbing lines. People use these in their homes as well, but it's it's great in a trailer. Um, I have extra in case there's ever a leak in the trailer. Um, <clears throat> this is your standard um, plumber's tape, and then you just need an adjustable wrench, and you got everything you need to install a bidet uh, in your Airstream or probably most RVs. And you get happy customers like my wife and myself who can be clean and yeah not have to deal with um, um, the inconveniences we thought we were gonna have living life on the road so I'm Chris from Freedom Frequency again signing off leave comments in the description like subscribe um, join us because we will be continuing to share um, other upgrades that we've done uh, to our Airstream